Cheers, hello, happy Thursday. Today, another local Chicago food review. A dash of salt and pepper. A diner, it's open till three. Headed up there, gonna snag a couple of different breakfast sandwiches. Mine's a burrito, actually, his is a sandwich. Get it right, dummy. My inner, inner monologue coming out right yeah, there. That's a good job. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you very soon. Come along, enjoy the uh, fun little B-roll, and see you soon, bye. by that place about 50 times and never got in there. All right guys, a couple of things here from Salt Dash of Salt and Pepper, Diner, Acquired, Jump Cut. All right, we'll look at Corey's first. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Open it up. What are they serving in an old newspaper clipping? That's cute. Let's see if we open up the Sunday Blade. And there we've got a mushed up croissant. Did they just curb stomp it before they sent it my way? <laughs> Things look like it's been flattened between books. Uh, we've got bacon on there, we've got cheese, we've got egg, and uh, that's all she wrote. Just croissant, egg, and cheese, ladies and gents. Yeah, and Corey's, for just the sandwich, it was $7.50. Very flattened. Flattened. <laughs> and then I, mine was eleven twenty-five. dollars Came with a side as well. It didn't give me an option to not do that. So this is the Route 66 burrito. So it's avocado, sour cream, American cheese, egg, and then the sausage. I'm sure this is going to be great, but this is one of the oh, good. Mo this is just like no the, mo the least aesthetically pleasing croissant. Yeah. They really, it looks like someone has just been mercilessly just beating this. Yeah. It looks like not as even appetizing as like the Burger King croissant. It's a yeah. fast food, yeah. Ooh, but look at that croissant, which, oh, you oh. know what the bummer is? Right out of gates, I can see some unmelted, cold-looking cheese. No! They took a razor blade to this cheese. You can see a nice little slice there. Yeah, mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, a dash of salt and pepper. Cheers. Perfect, but good. A lot of bacon. I also didn't get sausage. This has chorizo on it. Mmm. You can't pick. It's a chorizo burrito. Mm -hmm. I'm a dumbass. It says chorizo. Chorizo. Okay, and our breakfast special today is chorizo and eggs. Chorizo and eggs? Chorizo and chorizo. eggs. Yes. What is that? It's a Mexican sausage mixed in with scrambled eggs, and it comes with hash browns and toast. Well, it's tasty. Yeah, I mean, this is just a solid breakfast burrito. What's like your favorite way to get, like, breakfast potatoes. Like, do you like this style of hash browns, like the fluffier kind of ones? I, I like the like shredded, the string, string hash browns, that's my go-to. It's good, they got really good bacon. I feel like with, the, okay, can you mess up eggs? I feel like they're really tough to mess up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess if you wanted them to be yolky and they're not, but these are over hard, can't mess it up. Right. Croissant, can you mess that up? Clearly, they just stomped it into the ground. Does it taste any worse? No, absolutely not. All you need for a good breakfast sandwich with this, great bacon and enough cheese, but not too much cheese. And I think they found that little, uh, that little companion piece there. Yeah. This is going to sound kind of insane, but this doesn't have a lot of chorizo on it, but I actually don't mind that. Oh, it's not sound insane at all. Chorizo is one of the most greasy, overbearing, flavorful meat on this planet. I love it, but you got to use it a little bit of sparsity. Yeah, I've had some skillets and stuff where it's like, holy smokes, like afterwards you feel like it's you're wearing the grease on your face and you are just feel so awful after that. Like this, I think they did a good job, in this burrito at least, of kind of like doing the right proportions of everything. Mm-hmm, same here. I'm a very ill-proportioned man. Mm. So it's good to have a sandwich that's proportioned well. <laughs> I'm all long and gangly. Weird skinny proportions here, we're fatter proportions there. None of them are in the places that you want it. Right. You know, small in the crotch area, big in the belly area, tiny in the bicep area, it doesn't really work out. Mm -hmm. Big ears, giant forehead, gray tooth. I have a lot of things that aren't doing well for me, you know? But they proportion well on this. And you called them all out. It's like Eminem and 8 Mile. He's like, I'll say everything bad about myself so you can't say anything to me now. It's a genius mentality. I am white. I am a fucking punk. I do live in a trailer with my mom. A lot of people have called me the Eminem of my generation. But usually they're referring to those, like, the cartoon one that's like the little short fat cartoon <laughs> one. So. What a dynamic duo they've been, huh? Mm-hmm. We're like the red and the white version of that, right? But they've been employed for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. This How is much is this though? Seven dollars and fifty cents. Overpriced, but still good. I feel like a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich, should be no more than five dollars. Yeah, I think for that one, I agree. There's nothing crazy on that that like would mark it up, you know. Mm-hmm. This is one of those things where there's nothing wrong with this, but it's not memorable. Mm-hmm. Like this is just if you want a salad burrito. You're hungry and that's just kind of what you're calling for, this will do great. But this is not one that's gonna go into my like best breakfast items in Chicago. 
I feel like a lot of breakfast items are like that. Yeah. That are, they're, they're, it's a, breakfast items are difficult to take to the next level. They've, they've been established. Mm -hmm. It's hard to like figure out how, except when you're talking about like waffles and things that you can top with yeah. like interesting items like French toast, but like when it comes to breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that, right. I don't know what additions you make, you know? Mm -hmm. I do feel like this burrito needs a little something else in it to set it apart flavor-wise. Like they need their own house sauce or something. I did use that. But they don't have And it didn't do the the job before that. This they don't have access well, to our sauce at the diner. Oh, they should. Oh, I'm so pissed right now. They should bro. start buying that. I'm so pissed off right now. I lifted this for an easy marketing move. <laughs> and then you Just said that roll into it. And then I'm I'm thinking I'm like, here's the chance. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> but a lot of people who are gonna watch this video who might go to this place are not gonna have access to hot hot or sixer sauce unless they buy it at number six with cheese.com. I think even with a more with a higher price, I think that's. Um, I think my ha my whole croissant is about half of your burrito. I think that's still yeah, better a bang for your buck. There's a lot more food in this platter for sure. Yeah, dude. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a ton. We put out new videos Monday through Friday. We've been doing that for years. And an easy way to support the show is just by clicking the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like we said, we put out videos every single weekday, so you can be in the know. You can watch stuff right away. It goes live in the morning. It's always there for you. So like, subscribe, and then also today for the comment, the stuff we're gonna interact with you guys in the comment section. What is your go-to diner staple item? Mine's a skillet. Mine's a skillet. That's my favorite thing to get. Um, I traditionally only go to diners once or twice like a month, maybe once a month. I'm like a Sunday, kind of a, like a rainy hangover Sunday kind of thing, and I always get a skillet. You seem more like a brunch guy than a, than a breakfast guy. And I'm never excited about the food at brunch. I'm just trying to drink. Yep. I, it's acceptable to start drinking before noon. Like, I'll do it anyways. But it, like it's kind of like socially okay for some reason. Like, oh, football's on soon. You can just be drunk. Exactly. Um, so I like brunch for the drinks. I like diners for the food. Yep. What's your go-to diner item? Drop it in the comments and we'll interact with you guys. I hope most of theirs are just alcohol drinks. Be, these people really get us. Look at this, <laughs> this guy. Nah. Not us, buddy, right? Before we go ahead and rate that, let's do a shout out. Paypal shout out, paypal shout out, paypal shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to support the show, you want to drop some donation fundage over to Number Six with Cheese to help with all of our bills, like driving around the city, buying the food, website costs, innovating and getting new merchandise, things like that, you can do so. There's a PayPal link below. No frills, just send it on over and we'll be as happy as a clam, whatever that weird analogy means. Um, also, there's a little button up at our YouTube banner. You can click that. Whatever you're into, I'd say just click it below the video, it's way easier. So if you want a shout out, donate on PayPal, and you'll get one in an upcoming video. Shut up and take my money. Okay, time to rate the uh, breakfast items that we had here today. Uh, out of five, you know, this Blue's Clues guys came back and I remembered that one of the characters in Blue's Clues was Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper, I think were their names. So out of five of Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper, how many Mr. Salt and Mrs. Peppers do you give the uh, breakfast sandwich that you had here today, 750 Corey? That was pretty good, good quality ingredients. They did uh, curb stomp my croissant, which was just a little visually unappealing. It was a bit unfortunate. I guess probably pretty average for like when you're paying that price, like an average sandwich for that high-end cause. I'm gonna give that a 2.85. Yeah, for mine, um, like I said earlier, it was a good burrito. It would it would get the job done. That would be a workhorse burrito. If you're like hungover or you just want a big old bunch of food for like 12 bucks, I mean, that's a good platter for you. Easy pickup, nice in there. If you want to dine in, it seemed like a great place to devour some breakfast. But uh, that's not one that I'm gonna remember probably a month from now. I'll forget probably the name of this restaurant and then also really any big attributes about that burrito. I think it needed a sauce or something else. Maybe like a hot, if they had like a house sauce on it or something to like make it their own, that would have helped. I'm just gonna go 3.25. It was okay. It was okay. Above average, but well above no, average. nothing to write home about. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Back at Corey's for another brew interview. Come on back. Don't forget to snag the merchandise uh, so that shirt and pint glass are not going to be around long. Uh, not too many of the pint glasses left, so snag that. And we'll see you tomorrow on the show.